Hi, this is a tutorial series where I teach you how to make a puzzle game that uses the camera. This whole project is done using only vanilla JavaScript and HTML canvas. And a small part of it, this one here, is done using PHP and MySQL to save and load scores from the database. The game works on desktop computers, but also on mobile devices like phones and tablets. By following this series, you'll learn many useful things that you can later apply in other projects. Last time we worked on the visual side of things. We made the menu look better in CSS and drew a custom logo for our game. Now we'll implement the sounds. Let's begin. We continue with the code from last time. Let me just add Mr. Chibi-san here again. Let's add some sounds next. First, I'll define one using an mp3 file I recorded earlier like this. I'll set the volume quite low, because this will play whenever we drop a piece in the correct place. It would be really annoying if it plays at maximum volume, I think. So let's now add it here in the snap method and test. I refresh the page, press start, and... Yay, it works. But there is no sound when completing the game, and there definitely needs to be something there. Instead of simply adding another mp3 file here, which would make this tutorial really short, I will remind you that it's possible to synthesize sounds in JavaScript. I've taught this in other videos like the collab I did with Frank. Definitely check his channel, by the way. He has a lot of creative tutorials over there. I've also taught this in my visual web development course, when I made the augmented reality piano. So check those out if you want to learn some really awesome things. I'll link them in the description. To generate the sounds, we will need to define an audio context. And doing it like this will make it work on most browsers. Then, I want to create a simple melody consisting of three notes played on piano keys. Here I'm writing their frequencies. We need to create a function to play a single note. It will have a specified key and a given duration, how long the key should be pressed. We next define an oscillator. This will be responsible for generating the sound with a given frequency. We set the frequency to the value coming as a parameter here. We start the oscillator like this, at the current time, and we can also tell it to stop after the specified duration. It is good to also disconnect the oscillator at the same time, Otherwise, some hardly noticeable background noise can still be heard on some browsers. I'm using set timeout for that, and I specify the duration here as well. Now, there's a problem because set timeout expects the duration in milliseconds, but the stop method expects it in seconds. So I decided it to be in milliseconds and need to divide here by 1000. One more thing we need to do before we test is to connect the oscillator to the destination, which in this case is the default speakers on your device. Okay, let's test. I do that by calling the play note here in the console. And we get an error. Looks like I don't know how to spell oscillator. Let me just fix that real quick and... You can hear a simple sound for one second. Now we begin to shape this to sound more like a piano. I will use an envelope to control the gain. You can think of it as the volume in a sense. I connect the envelope now to the destination and I change the oscillator here to be connected to this envelope instead, forming a kind of chain. Then the piano sound has a powerful attack, which means that it needs to go from zero to maximum gain really quickly. Here it happens in 0.1 of a second. 
I set the maximum here to be 0.5 instead of 1, so that it's not too loud. Then the gain will gradually decrease back to 0 for the given duration. Again, specified here in seconds. Now let's refresh and test. Another error. I sure do many of those today, it seems. The problem is that I connect the oscillator here to the envelope before I even define it. So moving it down here should work. You can now hear the sound gradually fading during the course of one second. And you can get an even nicer sound by changing the wave type from the default sine to triangle. If you're having trouble understanding these things, do check out my visual web development course. There I use a much slower pace and explain all the different techniques I needed to make my augmented reality piano. Now let's compose the melody itself. It will start with a simple note at first, played for 300 milliseconds. Then I'll play a different note after 300 milliseconds. And another one 300 milliseconds after that, or 600 milliseconds from the starting point. And what we get is this. Now, this could work as the melody but you're free to make it sound any way you like. For example, it could sound like this. Now, to play it when finishing the puzzle, we just call this function here. It sounds a bit bad because it overlaps with the final popping noise when the piece snaps into place. I fix this by adding a small delay here to the function call. That's it for today. Please like and share this video if you learned something new. Next time we'll move to the backend and I'll teach you some MySQL. See you guys.